Let's take a look at the code we just developed. This is what you should end up with right here on this right hand side. Before we do that, let's make sure to open up our CNC Simulator Pro. Let's go to settings, check the settings, make sure that we are in inches here. Go ahead and select OK. You can select this item here, open up machine. Make sure we're using the milling center here. We're not using these other ones just yet. I'll hit cancel. Go ahead and go to settings again. Open up inventory browser and we got to set up our tool. The tool we're going to be using for this one is a mill diameter of 0.5 and a tool length of 2.5. You can go ahead and add a new one. We're using this flat tool here, the diameter and the length we have to specify. Cancel. If you have more tools, don't worry, just go ahead and add it and remember for me, since I have one, I'm going to be placing a T1. You may be placing a different number after that. Our mill piece is going to be a 5 by 5 by 2. I went ahead and just named my block 5 by 5. You can add another block if you already have a different one inserted. I'll go ahead and cancel this out. First thing we need to do is to place our block down. So we can do that with this dollar sign and or add regular part 1 and then 1, 1. The first one is specifying the piece we're laying down, and then the next two are the coordinates we're going to be placing at. So the first thing we need to do is to select the tool and change it that we talked about. So that's going to be with a T1 and a M06. We're going to set up the origin to the top left of our part so that we have a point to reference as we're moving around in a clockwise fashion. Then we need to set the motion of our actual tool to quickly get into position. So we're going to do that with a G0 move into position and then drop down. Make sure this Z isn't placed right here because then it's going to have a diagonal motion. We just want to move into position above it and then drop down. Then for the first time before we start cutting we need to give it a feed rate and a spindle speed as well as a direction of rotation and tell it to be in linear motion. Then we specify the first linear motion is going to be to X 3.5. Move down just a bit. After that, we are now moving in a clockwise fashion on the top right hand corner. So we're going to specify the end point, which is this X and Y coordinate. And then the arc distance, where the distance our tool actually is from the center of the arc that we're going to be traversing. Once we finish going around that arc, we have to go down. And this is going to be changing it back into a linear motion and specifying the Y coordinate only. Because we're not moving any direction in the X or the Y. Then we're going to be moving again in a counterclockwise fashion, so towards our position, towards the left and down. So this is going to be the X and Y coordinate where we're going to end at, as well as our distance from the center of the arc we're going to traverse. Back into linear motion to move across the bottom of our piece. Back into a counterclockwise motion to do the bottom left piece that we have, as well as finishing off our motion moving straight up to our final Y position that we started with up here. After that, I went ahead and placed a G0 to tell it to quickly move away from our part. And this M02 is to end the program. You can go ahead and type in all this code yourself. Come over here to the bottom left hand corner, push play, and see it in action. And there's our second part that we mailed.